I'm going to show you how to paint three easy and quick trees using watercolor. I'm Jessica Mack from Brown Paper Bunny. To get started, you'll need some watercolor paper and I'm just using the Canson XL watercolor paper in 140 pounds. I find that it's a nice blend of smooth and rough and it holds watercolor really well. You'll also need some watercolors and I'm using a Daniel Smith set which I've added some extra colors to um, but use whatever you have and you'll need some watercolor brushes and I'm using a size 4 and a size 6 round from the Pigeon Letters Studio round brush set and I've also got some water in a Pigeon Letters um, pinched water vessel and a little piece of paper towel just for drying off my paintbrush. Let's get started. The first tree that we're going to paint is an evergreen tree. So like a fir tree or something like that. And it's probably one of the easiest trees in my opinion to paint. So choose a nice dark green. I'm going to mix up a little bit of this color I have here. A slightly lighter green. You can use um, a green that's already mixed or you can mix your own color, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so start by getting a little bit of paint on your paintbrush and just do a little kind of dotted and messy line for as tall as you want your tree to be. So I call this scumbling, sort of moving your brush around in a kind of haphazard way. And now you're just going to work um, from sort of the outside in to create the branches in the same kind of messy scumbling way. So closer in at the top and then a little bit further out as the branches get bigger as you work your way down and pick up more paint anytime you feel like you need to. You want them to be a little bit uneven. You don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical because, well, frankly, trees aren't symmetrical. And this is just a little bit more fun anyway. So just keep working, getting a little bit longer with the branches as you move down your center trunk. Scumbling. Honestly, this is my favorite type of tree to paint. It's just, it's so fun, it's easy, and it's fairly quick too. You can see I'm almost finished already. Okay, and then this is the base of your tree. And feel free to grab a little bit of brown and just kind of drop it into the paint there if you want to darken up that area. You can even do that a little bit along sort of the trunk. Give it a bit of depth. A bit of shadow on one side if you like. Let it dry and you're all done with your first tree. While we wait for our evergreen tree to dry, let's move on to our second tree. And this time we're going to paint a deciduous tree. And I'm going to start with the trunk first and I'm moving to my number four studio round brush. So pick up a little bit of medium or dark brown paint and start at the base, drawing yourself a little trunk and you can Draw a couple of little branches too if you'd like to. Okay, 
So just give that a few seconds to dry a little bit and then we'll move on to the leaves. Okay, we're going to start with the lightest leaves first and I'm going to pretend that the sun is kind of coming down from this angle, so up here. So we'll have our lightest leaves up here and our darkest leaves in some shadow down here. So I'm going to mix up kind of a, a yellowy green color. So I'm picking up some yellow and a little bit of light green and just a little bit more water. Okay. Now I'm going to start by just dabbing little dots of paint essentially and we're going to layer over with different shades of green. So starting up here where the leaves would be the lightest, just going to start dabbing the tip of the paintbrush and it's okay if some of the, the dots run together like this. We're going to use this as our base layer for the tree. And you can even use this first layer of light green to kind of map out the shape of the tree. Maybe it's a little bit smaller at the top and then comes out wider. Just kind of use it as a sort of to sketch in how you want your shape of your tree. Um, and a little hint, trees are very rarely round. <laughs> They're often, they often have a little bit jutting out on one side, that kind of thing. So feel free to make your tree a little bit wonky because it'll actually look a bit more real that way. Okay, so now we're going to need a little bit of a darker shade of green. So you can add a little bit more dark green to the color you already mixed. There we go, I quite like that. A little bit more water. And now we're just going to do the exact same technique, but moving away from our light source, our pretend sun, into kind of the middle of the tree. And you can overlap the leaves that you've already painted a little bit. You just don't want it all to sort of run completely together. Just keep dabbing on little leaf shapes. You don't want to cover all of the paper. You want some of the white to show through. And that's especially important for each of the layers so that you can get that layered effect and see some of the color underneath. Feel free to uh, paint some leaves over the top of your branches so they're sort of hidden in the middle of the tree. And grab some more paint anytime you feel like you need it. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry for a couple of minutes so that all of the colors don't sort of bleed together. And while that's drying, I'm going to mix up an even darker shade of green. So I'm going to use my darkest green here and just mix that into the color I already had. Okay, it's dried enough that it's not going to completely run together. So I'm going to add our darkest layer of green starting down here just dabbing around kind of haphazard way going over those branches a little bit and coming up into the medium green a little bit to sort of blend those areas together If you want to add a little bit of something extra to this as well, 
you can touch in just a little bit of yellow right at the top up here just for some variety so I might just grab a little bit of yellow and just dab some in here And there we have our deciduous tree. The third type of tree that we're going to paint today is an aspen tree in the fall. So we're going to use some yellows and oranges for the leaves. And you'll see that I've uh, emptied out my water because we had green paint water in there before. And if we mix that in with yellows and oranges, we're gonna end up with kind of a muddy color and we don't want it to muddy up our paints. So starting with the round brush number four, I'm going to grab some light gray and paint sort of a tall skinny trunk for my aspen tree. Hopefully you can see that it's quite light. Aspen tree trunks tend to be very pale gray, almost white. Okay, now we're going to let that dry just for a minute and then we'll get started on the leaves. We're going to start with kind of a light orangey yellow color. bit too much water on so I'm just going to dab that on my paper towel and we're actually going to do lighter colors in the center and darker around the outside which is a little bit different to how we painted our deciduous tree in the summertime but the same sort of principles we're going to do individual dots of leaves like we did with this tree here so can start about here just kind of mapping out the shape of our tree, how we want it to go. Something like that, I think. And then fill in these center areas with this orangey yellow. Just doing these little dabs can leave a little bit of the trunk showing through if you'd like. Just work your way filling in this whole center section. more paint anytime you need to just again leaving some of the white of the paper showing through so that we can get that real layered effect actually going to use um, a lighter yellow just to give it a little bit of variety so grab a little bit of that on my paintbrush I'm just gonna dab it in here and there okay next I'm going to use a darker orange and I'm going to mix it in with this yellow it's kind of a ready orange we have a little bit of that on my paper towel and then I'm going to start going around the edge 
and blending a bit with the yellow that we've just put down. Just little dabs of paint. Keep working your way around, blending some in with the yellow and then some by themselves on the outside. I find it very relaxing to paint these sort of individual leaves and just don't have to worry about it too much. It's meant to be a little bit messy. It's just it's very meditative in a way. Do a few on the inside here just to blend and mix them together a bit. Okay, now we're going to do the last color is going to be a darker red mixed in. It's kind of it's still a ready orange, but it's a shade darker than what we already had. Dab off a little bit. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing going around some of these outside areas and blending it with the color we just put down. smaller dots in the middle, blend it together. we might mix up some darker gray and just add some little lines to the trunk to give it that real aspen tree look. So rinse off the red and pick up some darker gray. You don't want too much water on your brush because it'll bleed everywhere. You just want it to be just a little, a little bit. and add some of those trunk marks in just for a little bit of detail. Here we go and we're done. So there's three different types of trees that you can easily and quickly paint using watercolor. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll share what you paint on social media and tag the pigeon letters and brown paper bunny.